Now you might think that rod rests are just a rod rest where you put your rod on, but it's not as simple as that. I like to have different rod rests and different rod rest heads for different types of fishing. Because sometimes when I'm fishing I like to have the rod to my right and sometimes I like it to my left. I'm going to explain to you why I have it to my right sometimes and sometimes to my left. Now I'm a right handed person so that, that's the first thing. If you're left handed just reverse everything that I'm going to show you. But it's very important when you feed a fishing that you have your rod stationary and it don't bounce about like that so you have a bad rod rest. It don't move about that way because you want to be able to see the indications and the taps and the bites on the tip when you're fishing. So the, the rod rest and the rod red hess to me are really really important. So this is the style that I use. I prefer that one, it's nice and strong where it fits onto the leg. It extends where I want it to because I want the rod to be, uh, the rod rest to be halfway up the rod that I'm using. So in other words if I have 10 foot rod it will be 5 foot up, 11 foot, 5 foot 6, like that. But the best part about this particular rod rest that I love, it's quick change. It just clicks in, clicks out. So the different type of rod rest that I use, it just goes in and clicks. And it's actually facing upwards, so I don't need an angle lock or anything like that. It's strong, it's stationary, and it's not going to move in the wind. And if I want to change to a different style of rod rest, that just comes out, and I can put a different one on. It's really important that rod rest, it's nice and stable, it's strong and when I'm in position I want that part there to be roughly halfway up the rod so it's going to roll the rod still and it's not going to blow about in the wind. So that's the rod rest, that's pretty simple. What about the rod rest heads? Well there's two that I use. One is that and you can see it's got the quick change adapter on so I can pop it in and click it straight back out. Why do I like this? Well when I'm fishing hands free or I'm fishing for carp or when I'm fishing for F1s and the bites are quite violent I want something where the rod will be there and it, when it get a bite it won't jump up, jump out like that. It won't slide along it. So I'm looking for something that's going to lock it so that when I get my bite I can just pick my rod up. And that's pretty straightforward. So that just clicks in like that. So it just clicks in. Simple. So that fits on the leg. And what I'm looking for now is that to be in a position where I've got a nice 90 degree pull. So when I put my rod on the back rest like that, and when I put it on the rod rest, it's roughly going to be an inch above the water. And you can see it's nice and strong, it's stationary, it's not moving or anything like that. But for me, that is the perfect setup. Your rod is on the back. And and your, your rod is halfway up, uh, sorry the rod rest is halfway up the rod. So when I get a bite it goes round and I'm hands free and I can pick it up. So when I'm fishing a commercial, why do I like it like this? Well it's hands free. I can do what I want, I can pick my flask up, I can pick my bait in and throw it in. I can feed down the side and it's not interfering with the rod. It's really important to me that I call it hands free. So if I'm fishing in a commercial where I'm expecting the bites to be pulled in. I can sit there. When I get a bite, I just pick it up and I'm into the fish. That's why that rod rest is really important. It don't bounce, it locks the rod, and it's perfect. However, when I'm fishing for silvers, it's a little bit different because I like that rod rest. Now, why do I like that rod rest? Well, one of the reasons is it's free at that end and it's, and it's locked at that end. So if I'm going on a river, I always want that, that little pointed thing there, downstream. So I can put my rod on there and the bend will go downstream. So if the river's going right to left, I just turn it round and put it like that and put the rod onto that. But when I'm fishing for silverfish on lakes and still waters, I like to get the rod and just put it on. I haven't got to lift it over and then pull it. I put it and I put it straight on the rod and it's nice and simple. So when I'm holding the rod, I always have that facing the water so I can put the rod and just hold it and it's nice and simple. I have nothing to lift over. But the best bit about that is it's heavy. And people think, oh it's a bit too heavy that. It's perfect. I want it heavy. I want it heavy so it's, it don't bounce about in the wind. It's not light. It's really heavy and I like that. It makes it everything stationary. But when I'm fishing for 
silverfish and I have it in that position as you can see there now I'm putting that down I always fish and I always hold the rod and all I do then I put, put it in a position where I'm holding the rod. Now why do I hold the rod when I'm when I'm silverfish fishing? Because it's on me, I've got my hand on my reel and when I get a bite I'm straight into the fish. Because it's quick fishing usually. You're catching roach, you're catching skimmers, you're catching perch, you're in and you're out. And I don't want to miss a bite. They're not hooking themselves, you have to hook the fish. So I want to hold the rod. So why don't I do it that way? It's because my arm's straight that way and I can't just pick the I can't just pick the rod up and strike. When I'm sat holding the rod, this arm is bent, so that when I get a bite, I'm straight into the action, uh, 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 the striking action, and it makes it a lot simple. So, two ways I have my rod rest. When I'm fishing hands free, I have it to my right, but when I want to hold the rod, I always have it to the left, so that I can hold my rod. I'm more comfortable and when I get a bite I can lift straight into the fish that's why I always have when I'm fishing for silvers I have the end of the rod rest that's not got a stick up so I can just pull it on and put it down I haven't got to lift it over everything so them's the two ways that I fish the rod rest but the positioning of the rod rest the angle that I'm going to do is really important to me because the modern day angler, what he does, he casts out, he hits the clip and he puts the rod there. He puts the rod in front of him on his rod rest. I don't get that. I, I'm sorry, but I don't get that. And I, I don't get that because, one, I can't see the indications, I can't see the bites, but more importantly, when I get a bite and it pulls around like that, I go like that and I haven't got to the bend of the rod. I haven't got to the bend of the rod and when I'm playing the fish I use the bend of the rod to play the fish. It's really important to me that, so I'm not saying it's right or wrong, what I'm saying it's my way. So what I'm looking for, I'm not looking for a, a sort of 10 degree pull where it does that and I go and I can't get to the bend of the fish goes and it pulls you in because you have to use bigger hooks, and bigger hook lens because you get broke, very very simple. What I'm looking for is a 70 to 90 degree pull so that when I cast out in front of me and I cast out when I put it on the rod rest like that I've now got a 90 degree pull to the rod so when the tip goes round with a fish like that when I pick up I'm at the bend of the rod and the, the bend of the rod will play the fish for me and it will cushion the fish so it's really important to me I see more liners, I see more indications. So because you're getting tap, 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 when you get a bite it goes like that. But when you pick up, you're straight into the bend of the rod, it becomes like a piece of elastic on your, po on your pole. That's why it's important. So I never ever, you'll never see me cast it out in front of me and put the rod there. It will always be to the side. And it doesn't matter whether I'm carp fishing on a commercial or whether I'm silverfish fishing, catching roach and perch. I always look for the angle of the rod. So hopefully by that little video you'll see that the rod rest is a really really important piece of equipment. Not just the rod rest but the rod rest head. For different styles, different types of fishing you need a different rod rest head. I hope that's helped you, hope you had a few tips.